Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a vector banner in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump into it. So you can see on screen an example of what we're going to be creating, but I've already created that, so let's just get rid of it. And we'll start by selecting the rectangle tool. If you'd like to know, the document size is a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And we'll start by just dragging out a rectangle with the rectangle tool. And I've got this color here already created. If you'd like to know what this color is, you can use this six digit reference color. It's ED4A57. And I've also removed the stroke here as well. So we just have that solid red fill. And I'm just going to adjust the height, make that a little bit narrower. And once I've done that, I'm going to go to edit, copy, edit, paste, and using the main selection tool, just bring this in a bit from the right. Now for the next step, I can zoom in and just left click and hold where the pen tool is and select the add anchor point tool. And I can hover down here and you can see in pink, those smart guides nicely mark exactly halfway down for me. And if you haven't got those turned on, you can go to view and down to smart guides. So that makes it a lot easier. So exactly halfway down on the left, I can just left click and add an anchor point and then using the direct selection tool, so that's different from the main selection tool, I can directly select that one anchor point and then left clicking and dragging whilst holding shift, hold shift to stop it from going up or down, I can just pull this in a little bit like so. And I'm just going to move this up here a little bit and go to object, arrange and center back. Now I'm actually going to give this part of the shape, the smaller one, a slightly different color, just so you can see what I'm doing. I find it a lot easier to do this when working with different shapes. And when you've got everything in the right position, then you can start coloring it up. So I'm just going to bring this in a bit as well. And then the next thing we're going to do is go up here and select our larger shape. Go to object, envelope, distort, make with warp. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the arc style and you can adjust the bend. So if you go negative, it goes lower, positive, it goes higher. So it depends entirely what you're looking for. And we're going to leave distortion alone and click OK. And if we do the same thing with our smaller shape, so object, envelope, distort, make with warp, it remembers those same settings. So we can just go ahead and click OK. And if we need to, with the shape selected, you get these same options that you can access from the top of the screen. So they're exactly the same options, they're just along the top instead of in a dialog box. However, once you're happy with your warp, you can go to Object, Expand, leave Object and Fill selected and click OK. Now we can no longer easily edit the warp that we've applied to these shapes. They are just regular shapes in Illustrator now. However, we can do some other things. So we can start by rotating this blue shape We're using the rotate tool on the left. And I'm going to do something like this. So that kind of curve of the red shape flows through into the blue shape. And let's position that there. Something else we can also do is select the rectangle tool and we'll drag over half of the red shape. And again, you can see that smart guide nicely snaps into position there to mark exactly half. Now with this blue shape selected, we're going to hold shift and left click on the red shape. And then from the pathfinder panel on the right, we're going to select this option here, minus front, also known as subtract. And you'll see it removes that right half of the shape. And if you don't see the pathfinder tools, just go to window and down to pathfinder. So what we're going to be doing is creating half the banner and then once that's looking good, we're just going to flip it over. So now what we're going to do is select the main pen tool and let's just zoom in a bit down here. We can adjust the position as we need to. Let's just check we're happy with that. And then with the pen tool, we're just going to left click down here to so the bottom corner of the red shape and then the bottom right corner of the blue shape and just left click and drag. And we're going to drag out a curve like so. And then we can hold down the Alt key and just left click to cut that curve. And we're just going to follow up here. So again, those smart guides, really helpful. And we've effectively drawn kind of like a triangle. 
And I'll just give this another color so you can see what we've done. Now, of course, this looks a little bit weird. However, if we select this new green triangle like thing and go to object, arrange, send backwards, you'll see that it positions it behind the red shape. So we're all good. We're all good. And I've also prepared a color for this. So it's a darker red. So this is effectively going to be um, colored by a shadow from the red shape above it. So just having this lighter and this darker just kind of helps create that depth. And the color for this, if you're interested, is 4D0E04. So now we've got that, we can select our blue and give it the same color as the rest of the banner. And if we just zoom out a little bit. Now what I'm actually going to do is just select that. You can see the kind of two parts of the banner blur into each other a little bit. So I'm just going to double click the color picker and just move this down. I'm just going to pick a slightly lower color somewhere around here. And you might need to experiment with this, but the goal is to just take the color you've got and just go a touch darker, just so you get that distinction between the two parts of the shape. Cool, okay, so it's looking pretty good. What we can do now is select this half of the banner and go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and then hold shift and left click to drag this horizontally across. And we'll go to object, transform, reflect, and reflect it along the vertical axes. Click OK. And again, if we zoom in, we're just going to position this by dragging. And you'll see those smart guides nicely snap that in place. And then we can drag over these two shapes, which are still separate. So if we drag over both of these and from that same Pathfinder panel, we can select the top left option, Unite, and it will combine those into one shape. So it's just a little bit of tidying up. And what we can do is drag over everything and go to Object Group. So this is all grouped together now and we can move it around as one object. And we can also hold Shift and left click from the corner to scale it up or down depending on the size of the banner that you're going for. And there we go. That's how to draw a vector banner in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.